Um, so at the end of the day here, uh, really the issue is those previous uh, ways we talked about doing things, at this point it's a little too late. If you haven't fully adapted to, well, I mean, just take a how many people still run 2008 servers? Probably almost everybody, yeah? Um, so 2008, pretty old, right? Because I mentioned 2019's production, so 2008 R2, we've got two more server operating systems in between there. Um, might as well just call 2016 Vista, just skip right over it and uh, go to 2019. Um, but for this stuff to work, it all has to be in sync. Uh, and the other reason I say that is when we talk about um, the Office 365 security tools, and we talked before about uh, cloud app security, and we talk about single pane of glass, Windows 10 communicating to 2016 and 2019 servers in a uh, network administrated by Windows Admin Center it's a totally different world. It looks nothing alike. And for your security systems, they look nothing alike. And then when we think about it, what do we think that the security vendors are programming to? Because they're not building new stuff for 2008. <laughs> they're building new stuff for 2016, 2019 servers. Because eventually people will adapt to it, right? So from that point of view, it's something that has to change or our security is going to continue to crumble. Okay, so when they find a vulnerability and they patch it, you know what shows up in our systems when we look at it? What shows up in our systems is the fact that all of these Windows 7 boxes are now doing low-grade attacks because Windows 7 can't adapt to, let's say, changing how SMB v2 works or v3 works, right? But we have to patch it because otherwise we'll get hacked. Um, so at the end of the day, if we have not upgraded, we are really going to be stuck with the fact that our security becomes blind and it becomes blind over time. And so really, that was the point for today. Questions? <laughs>